Hi, this is Andrea Olatunji, author of Omar El Jaguar. And today I'm going to teach you how to do something really cool. My illustrations in the book are inspired in something called molas. These are the molas from the Guna people of Panama. And basically what they are is a superposition of layers of fabric that the women, the Guna women, sew. And then you can see the different uh, colors and different patterns. Here, for example, is this beautiful parrot. So I'm going to teach you today how to do a simple mola that you can use and you can do with your kids or your students. And it's really, really fun to do. So we're going to recreate Omar using um, molas. So we're going to need construction paper, glue sticks, and scissors. So first, we cut the um, silhouette of Omar's face in black. And then we're going to do another one in yellow that is a little bit smaller than the black one. And you can download the patterns and all the, the instructions in my website. So you have the black one and the yellow one. So we're going to put one on top of each other like the molas are done, so putting one fabric on top of each other. So here we have Omar's face. And then we're going to start adding the other elements. So we're going to start with the ears. So we're going to put two pink triangles. And then on top of the pink triangles, we're going to glue smaller triangles. Spanish, we call them triangulos. See? Triangulos. So I'm going to help you with a little Spanish at the same time. All right. Then we're going to put the spots. First, we're going to put all black spots, like Omar has. Just glue them like that. And again, you have all these patterns on my website. And you can used to create your patterns with construction paper. All right, so we have all the black spots. And if you remember Omar, inside the black spots, he has some pink. And we're gonna do a simpler version today, so we're not gonna use all the different shapes that are in Omar, but a simpler one. But it's gonna look pretty much like him. So now we put the pink spots inside the black. Mm -hmm. Okay, and just as you can see, we are putting here layers of shapes and colors. Can we say these colors in Spanish? Negro, amarillo, rosado, or rosa. Muy bien. Then Omar has another spot right here in his forehead. So we're going to do black and then pink. And this shape here is un trapecio, like a trapeze shape. So we have negro y rosado. Muy bien. Now we're going to do Omar's mouth, la boca. Negro, rosado. Nice and simple. Muy fácil. Okay. Entonces tenemos las orejas, la boca. Ahora vamos a hacer los ojos. ¿Sí? So here we put... Negro, negro, black for the eyes, then we put blanco, white, that's the inside of the eyes, and then verde, Omar's eyes are green, you know, jaguars have very, very intense eyes. So, verde, and you can add a little black dot, or you can draw it with a Sharpie or a marker if you want. And you can also draw little dots inside the spots, because Omar has, you know, some little dots inside the spots, as you can see here. But it will make it easier if you just do it with a marker. Okay, so we have ears, orejas, eyes, ojos, mouth, boca. Now we need his nose. 
His nose is a pretty simple shape in black. Mm -hmm. And it's almost looking like Omar, isn't he? All right. And finally, Omar has this nice little patterns in here. Okay, la nariz de Omar. Okay, and he's ready. That's Omar, el jaguar. Okay, I hope you guys like him. And again, this is a fun activity you can do in the classroom or teachers. If you're distance teaching, this is a pretty cool activity you can do with your students. You can send them the templates and then you can do like a craft activity with Omar after you read the story. Hope you liked it. Adios, amigos.